Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Nadim, and welcome back to another video. So, for this tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to add a fire sparks. Um, no, fire sparks to me, it's a pretty cool idea, and like, it's a pretty cool effects. Um, to make it more, you know, watchable, and you know, just to have fun with it. Um, especially when it looks more realistic, it just looks more cooler to watch, especially the fire spark effects. This includes no simulation. Um, it does include baking, but, but we will be using particle effects and we are going to talk about how we can um, bake the car steering and the car wheel rotation. Like, you know, like we will animate the car and we will add some fire sparks. So it's time to get in the best software and that is called blender all right guys um here we are at a new blender file project let's just go ahead and delete everything and let's see what card i'm going to be using so we are going to be using a lamborghini huracan sto it's the same card that i used from a previous tutorial now for this tutorial we are going to be using a rig a car add-on or a rig a car rig so this, yeah, you guys definitely need this rig a car. Um, I made a previous video on um, how to rig a car. The link will be in the description. It's a really easy tutorial. It's just five minutes. It's not like, you know, yeah, it's just really short and easy. So go ahead, skip this video and then watch that video and then come back to this video. And then, yeah, I got this car model from Sketchfab. It's a really great car model. It's super detailed and I really like it. I'll put the link in the description also so you guys can check it out, use it, and rig it. And yeah. Anyway, so let's just get started. So uh, shift A, add a plane. Just make a simple floor. Um, there we go. Really easy. Now. Let's make a car move, but before we do that, let's actually use a curve and path. And this can really uh, help us for our animations. Rotate it at 90 degrees. And let's just put it right here. Now make sure that this vertices right here, it has to be the middle of the car rig so it can um, turn the car better, you know, it can steer better and it can have like a better performance Anyway, so let's hit the car rig go to the post mode hit the main rig right there Go to the bone constraint properties you add it click the floor path and Use this eye drop tool color Yep object um, nerves path boom uh, two things, the car is not touching to the ground and the car is um, facing sideways, so we don't want that. Let's click fix position and fix follow curve. Okay, the car is um, facing backwards, we don't want that obviously. <laughs> so um, go to the object properties, um, rotate it to 180. Now the car is facing forwards, but the car is not touching to the ground, so let's fix that. Location, uh, Z. Just scroll down. Make sure that the wheels is touching it. Let's see. Yep, I can see the wheel. That's good. So, now we have that all set. Let's go back to the car. Now the car can move. Um, But two things, guys, two things. The car wheel rotation is is rotating backwards, and and let's fix that. So let's hit the recording button. I actually want the animation to be kind of short, you know, one fifty frames, and let's make a um thirty frames per second, like that. All right, nice. So now we have that. Let's just. Go back to the object um, bone constraint and make sure that the offset factor is set to zero. You insert the keyframe, make sure that it is start from the frame one, go to frame 150, insert the keyframe again, and let's put this at 1000. Now, um, 
two things. Of course, the wheel rotation is rotating backwards, but the movement is not constant. The car is not going at the constant speed, so let's fix that. So let's right click it, go to the interpolation mode and hit linear. Now the car is moving at a constant speed, which is what we want. And let's fix the wheel rotation. You click N, go to a rigid car panel. Let's set this to zero, which is a wheels on rotation or, or the Y axis, set it to zero. And let's come back to these later. So, um, yeah, let's fix this problem later. So let's hit the path and let's do some adjustment with the path. So let's just go back to the frame one. All right. So let's just make a nice, simple animation, you know, nothing hard. Nice. Um, so I actually did some view adjustment with a path. That's how it should look. All right. So the car wheels, rotation and steering, as you guys can see, they are not moving at all. And let's make them move. Let's make them do something. So go to the frame one. Um, for the wheels animation on the rigor car panel, it shows two kinds of bake. One of them, um, car steering bake and the wheels ro rotation bake. Let's bake the wheels rotation first. Make sure that it starts at frame one through 150. Hit OK. And now look at that. The wheels are now moving. They are moving forward. Or I should say rotating forward, but you guys know what I mean. Now let's make them steer. So steer is really easy. Um, go back to frame one. Do the same thing as the wheels rotation, but the steering, of course. So bay car steering. Make sure that it's set from frame one through 150. Hit OK. And now look, the wheels are now ro rotating. You see? Really easy and really unique, which is great. Now we are done with a car signal. Let's add the sparks, but there should be a reason why that it should have sparks because we want the car bumper. Yep. The front bumper, we want it to scrape the floor. So to do that, let's hit the, um, car rig. You go to the pose mode. You click on this um, car movement rig. Yep. And go to the frame um, 45. And let's make it like this. Now, as you guys can see, that's the front bumper. And it is scraping it. So that's what we want. All right. But from 10 frames before, which is 35, so 45 is where it scrapes and 35 is where it comes back to normal. So click Alt G and boom. And let's make the car a bit lower. There we go. Nice. So that's how it should look like. Yep. And hit this keyframe, make it the same thing and put it at 55. So. That's how it should look guys. See, boom, R really easy and really good. All right. Now let's add a camera setup. So shift a, add a camera. We want to have a nice animation. Of course, now it's time to add some fire sparks. Yep. Fire sparks, baby. So as you guys can see right here, Let's add a um, plane. So let's add a plane and make it kind of small, like somewhere like this small. And you just place the um, plane right here. Let's make it that is rotatable just like this. Let's uh, parent it to a car body. So control P object, keep transform. 
Yep. And let's go to a um let's go to a particle properties. Yep, set a new particle. Now we have what do you call it? Like this. This is how it should look like. Now let's do some few adjustments. Um of course we want the sparks to start at let's see so let's set it at 40 frames so frame start let's put this to 40 and we want to end it at um i guess 50 let's do 52 all right 52 nice so that's how it should look like The sparks are falling to the ground. We don't want that. And also, this is not a spark yet, but I'm just showing you guys the example. We wanted to add a collision. So let's go to the plane axis. I mean, the um, the plane mesh. So hit the plane mesh. Um, go to, um, what do you call it? A physics properties. Hit collision. And now guess what? It will happen. Um... The emission particles, they are staying at the plane. So that's good. Now let's do some tweaks for this uh, sparks. So go back to the particle settings. This number right here, it's way too much particle. So let's put it to like 300. Or like 200 would be great. And we want it to set this object velocity to 0 0.50 and we want it to randomize it to like 0 0.7 this is how it looks yep so it got more spread it which is great let's raise up the randomness a bit more let's see okay that's a little better let's um, lower the object velocity to maybe 0 0.3 Yep, that's good now few things guys few things um the, the particles they will not live longer. So let's put the lifetime at um 5.8 let's see Yep, that's good go to the field weights Gravity it should set to 0 0.9 So that's how it should look like so it looks a bit more flowy and realistic Good all right, so let's also Make a fire spark. So let's shift a add a mesh Let's make it as a icosphere Make it you know a scale on um, Z Let's bring it up so we won't see it. Um, shade smooth. All right. And let's create a new material for this fire spark. So for the surface, uh, look for the emission. Yep, emission right there. And the emission color, let's make it like an orangey bit. This is how it should look like. And let's raise up the strength at... Um, on like 16 somewhere around it and to make it better um, let's select the particles so go back to the particle system and go to a render tab render as an object and um, instant object uh, object icosphere just click that and this is the fire sparks um now it is a bit too big let's change the size a bit R really easy uh, scale let's put this at um 0 0.01 
let's also scale the um um the icosphere a bit like this so we can get a nice small um fire sparks there we go it's nice and scaled all right so like i said the scale 0 0.010 and the scale randomness is it should be at 0 0.5 because we don't want them to be all in the same size all right now the sparks they are pointing up let's make them all point randomly so hit the um, check the ro rotation randomize um, phase it a bit like this and randomize phase this is how it should look like yep here we have a nice fire sparks which looks so dang good I'm really happy with this so this shows a material let's make them disappear um, you go to the material section hit new and just set the alpha to zero so once you go to a cycle viewport we can no longer see the um, plane so that's good for the render viewport I'm set this to a GPU of course so let's see but guys here are some fire sparks you can see so let's bake the fire sparks really easy this is good for rendering for a better rendering stuff um you go to cache and then you just hit bake and yeah guys that's the fire sparks um yeah really easy all right guys so i just made a simple camera animation movement it's just really easy i just set a three keyframe just a moving camera movement but anyway guys here are some sparks so let's see what will happen if we render it all right guys so to me this looks actually pretty good um of course i can make it 10 times better than this but i want to keep things short so you guys can't get bored of it of course but um if you guys want to learn some new tutorials let me know in the comment below I hope that you guys learned something and learned something new, um, especially the baking, steering, and um, you know the effects for the sparks. But anyway, guys, um, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Um, I might do like um, how to animate a car like realistically, or I don't know. I'll just um, I'll just take some notes of what I'm going to do for the next tutorial. So. Yeah, guys, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.